Hello and welcome to Split. We've been here for three weeks now and we wanted to make this video to show you what it's like to live here as a digital nomad and give you our first impressions. And we thought the best way to do that was to bring you along for a day in the life because we don't like just making standard list videos. We like to do vlog style. That's what we're gonna do today. Our mornings always start in the same way with our meditation, with our breakfast, with our working schedule. It's kind of not entertaining to film on video. We got it, we do a highlights and now we're here on our way to the gym. Conveniently for us, our gym is literally less than a five minute walk. So in the time it's taken for me to spit these words out and do this introduction, we are already here. So we're here at Marjan Fitness, which is our gym of choice. It's actually a Taekwondo studio. I already said it's only five minutes walk from my house, but it's also mostly completely empty. This is one of three Marjan studios that you can get access to, but there are lots of quality gyms with quality equipment all over Split. And from what we've seen doing our research, none of them ever get overly busy. They all seem to be a great place that you can get a workout. All right, training session done. We're now on our way to get an Uber downtown to get some lunch. But before we do that, I wanna give my first, first thought about something that's kind of significant about our stay here in Split, is you do a lot of walking up and down stairs and up and down hills. Now, I'll talk more about hills maybe later, but the stairs are a true situation. All of these buildings around me, that one, look at these, but basically none of them have elevators. So you have to walk up lots and lots of stairs. This is a very old city. The buildings are tall, but very old, and they just don't have elevators. And so you end up doing quite a lot of, lot of walking up and down stairs. And B loves walking up and down stairs, right? No. <laughs> Our apartment is the seventh floor. So like in the beginning, it's just like kind of difficult to adjust, but after a couple of weeks, we're fine. Doesn't mean it's nice, <laughs> but it's not as bad as, as we thought in the beginning. Yeah, they have AC, but it's a lot of stairs, not a lot of elevators. And also because of the way the city is structured, like there's not, it's not a convenient drivable city either. But with that being said, let's go get a drive in our Uber. As we're here downtown, before we go to eat, I do want to say another really major thing that sticks out to me about Split is that you've almost got two different cities. You've got the downtown slash old town, where you've got all these cruise ships and all the tourists that come in from there, from the port, and then you've got the rest of Split. We live in the rest of Split, but when we want to feel like doing something touristy, we have access to here right away. I don't know where B is now. She's gone to look for the Thai place that we're supposed to be eating at. So let's go eat there now. Found the place. Found the place. Very exciting. B found this place on Google. I read about it, it was very good. And a really fancy for Thai food. <laughs> they have like 13 different dishes. Look quite simple, but I heard it's very delicious. So very, very excited. And the price looks very good as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so excited. Look at this chunks of tofu. What we got here? So we got the Thai food that you are excited to get. Looks very, very good. Let's get stuck in while we're waiting around. Was it as good as Google Review said? Yeah, it's better. <laughs> it's so good. It's actually very, very big. Like the parchment is ridiculous. I'm kind of suffering to finish. <laughs> what do you think of lunch? Amazing. Just like very full, very affordable, delicious. The food is amazing. Huh. So there's your Thai food in split recommendation. Next, we are going to head to the beach. As I touched on earlier, you do get the two different sort of city vibes from, from split. 
Yeah, you've got the old town, which is very historic and very beautiful. And then you've got the rest of Split, which is more, definitely more beachy vibes. In fact, we're eyeing up a beach here that we might actually settle here instead. I just got my bikini and this is one of the most nice things they have here everywhere in all of the different beaches here it's gonna be those kind of closets <laughs> really they have everywhere you can just go and change it like a change mini changing room yeah like a mini changing room it's just very easy and convenient so I never come with bikini anymore I just bring it and <laughs> I go to the to the changing room and change it myself and there's another thing that I love about here. They have showers everywhere, so if you have to just like do a wash before you leave and then it goes to the change your room and change your clothes, it's like very easy and nice. And, and whilst this doesn't look very overly comfortable, it's actually way cleaner than a sandy beach. And the water is actually much cleaner as well. Can you feel the, uh, the chill vibe on the camera? Uh -huh. What? Yeah, we like that. Bro, what are you talking about, man? This is what actually brought us to Split, was the, the proximity to the beach and to the coast. Because we always find that even if you're in a quote-unquote big city, if you're near the coast, it's a slower pace of life. And we enjoy that about Split. Watch out. It's cold there. I can't believe how many times we've been to the beach and it has been scorching, hot sun, beautiful weather, and the one time we decided to take the camera to the beach, <laughs> what happened? Yeah, it's just very cloudy and I mean, the, the water is very cold, but the cold makes it a little bit chill. Yeah, but, oh well, heading home now, which means hills, means lots of hills, because apparently you get beautiful views all over Split, but that's because we're on the coast, but we have rolling mountains going into the coast, which means, yeah, lots of hills all around us. And if you're walking around, be prepared to walk up and down hills. This is the uh, non old towny sort of buildings that you're gonna get. A lot of really old Yugoslav type concrete structures. That's the other thing I didn't mention. Along with the buildings, there's also graffiti everywhere. And the problem with graffiti is if you clean it, then they just graffiti again. So I think they're taking the approach of if you just leave it, then they don't re like you can't graffiti over more graffiti. But in spite of the graffiti and the buildings not being the most pleasant site, it's still a pretty place to live with. You've got the rolling mountains, if you can see in front, and you've got the sea view because you've got nice height before you get to the beach in general from most parts of the city. You've also got a ton of green around and you've got a lot of people just being relaxed, walking their dogs. And so what that makes is for a nice relaxed atmosphere. And it's not quite a throwback like uh, Tirana was. It's a lot more of a modern vibe. I guess Croatia is in the EU, so you get 
all of the modern conveniences. The internet has been very, very reliable. The electricity is completely reliable. All the stuff that you would expect of a EU Western nation, you definitely get here in Split. So we have enjoyed our time here very much so. We haven't been as touristy as we would like to be. We've been just working really hard, but we want to give you an impression of what it is like because we know it's very much a digital nomad hotspot for people that want to come have the conveniences of Europe, but also get a little bit of the price leverage that you can get from being a digital nomad. I'm not sure if we get that, actually. Um, not really. <laughs> just tune in because we'll do a price breakdown in a future video, and we'll also take a tour of the beautiful old town in the next video as well so subscribe if you haven't done so already give the video a big thumbs up we are going to go back to the apartment do some work have some dinner relax for the evening that was a little peek of an insight into our lives here in split as digital nomads hopefully you've enjoyed it thanks for watching and i see you in the next one